Uh, the final segment is pretty spoiler heavy. It's very heavy. spoiler. It's very spoiler heavy. I'm going to go into it in three, two, one right now. So there is a cut scene that is on the internet that has been leaked and it spoils what we think is a piece of black armory. Basically, a ghost goes, revives Aldrin, and he wakes up. That means a ghost has chosen Aldrin. Now, the internet has figured out that this is apparently or possibly Cade's ghost who said whoever kills him has to become the next Vanguard. No, not Cade's ghost. Not Cade's ghost. You're right. I'm wrong. Cade's ghost is definitely dead. <laughs> uh, yeah, <I> like, <laughs> it is a ghost and uh, called, what's it called? Pulled pork? Pulled pork. Yeah. I don't Just, get the pulled pork. Do you want me to, here, I'll yeah. tell you. Yeah. There's a grimoire card talking about a ghost that is looking for his guardian. Yeah. Or her guardian. And the guardians um, have given the name it the name pulled pork. Yeah. It's like as a cute little name. And they keep telling him or telling her to search for his guardian and to like stay around the reef. And the ghost is reef colored. Yeah. With like purple and gold. And in the cutscene, this ghost is purple and gold. And he is in the Dreaming City, or she's in the Dreaming City, and she or he revives Aldrin. Mm -hmm. And what Destin was alluding to is there's something called Cade's Dare. Uh, the person who kills Cade becomes the new Hunter Vanguard. And since Aldrin is a guardian now, guardians have no recollection recollection of their past life. So Aldrin has no idea that he was Aldrin, that he killed Cade, or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But if, if Cade's Dare holds true, then he's going to be the new Hunter Vanguard, which introduces all these possibilities like can you imagine like Ikora in the tower and Zavala yeah and now Aldrin's the hunter van like they're gonna be pissed like I love it because <clears> it's <throat> like one last troll from Cade well, I don't a, know in if a they, weird I don't even way know if it's a troll I like, think it's yeah. like a really interesting thing and then yeah there's another storyline like now Mara Sov controls the vanguard because her brother's mm. the hunter vanguard now. Really? Mm. Well, there's like all these speculations and theories. Like, well, because yeah, I mean, just like Mara has influence on the Dreaming City and the Awoken from seemingly beyond the grave all throughout the campaign, right? Yeah. And so it's like not impossible to imagine that this is all part of kind of like her plan. What if they're just like nobody tell them, nobody tell them? Yeah. Don't. I mean, <laughs> so one, I think this is really interesting because it introduces some really crazy yeah. dynamics between yeah. Aldrin, like, mm. you know. Aldrin betrays everyone by killing Cade, and then yeah. you kill Aldrin, and then Aldrin comes back, and now it's like, hey, we got to be friends, but I remember what happened, and you don't. <laughs> like, that's pretty crazy. I think yeah. that could be cool. And old and we were talking a little bit about how when the campaign ended for the first mm -hmm. time on this show, that we all kind of felt a little bit let down by Aldrin's role in this, in the campaign. Like, yeah. he's... Basically, right up until the end, the yeah. main villain, and then it turns out like, oh, he doesn't remember. You don't get he to was pull being the trigger. like manipulated, and you don't mm -hmm. see, you don't get to yeah. pull the trigger, and you don't even see yourself pull mm -hmm. the trigger. We were all kind of a little bummed out by that. Turns out, like I guess, <laughs> there was one more step to Aldrin's right. uh, like character arc, and mm -hmm. this is it. And it's what do you know? It's really interesting yeah. of a step. Eric, what's your reaction to this theory and the leak cutscene and all that? I mean, I hate Aldrin, right? So, <laughs> and I'm a hunter, so mm -hmm. I'm just like, you know what? I would not be okay with this. <laughs> um, I mean, it, it, it's definitely it's it is a really interesting story because um, yeah, I mean, the, just the dynamic that we have in have have it in the story, you know, obviously between all the other, everyone in the tower. I always feel like if he had to come back to the tower, they just push him like in the corner and be like, "You just stay here and just yeah. don't ever talk to us." And then we just <laughs> have to go into like one of the dusty corners that you never see, just to kind of if you want to get a mission from him. But yeah, I mean, I don't particularly like him as a character. I've always thought he was a bit of a dick, even from like number one yeah. um so yeah i mean i wouldn't be the best fan to be honest <laughs> i i would love this just because like he's so hated it makes him super compelling as a character yeah mm. and the interactions oh, the vanguard like have to have with him and what if they put him in the corner and he's like i don't know what i did and what like if? he feels really bad and he's really depressed and, and then all of a sudden like, you feel bad because yeah. he's so being he's like, alienated right? by everyone but yeah. he well, doesn't know why like so what i'm super excited about is like what if he starts getting his memories back you know mm. and then he Ooh. like from the inside out, takes down the vanguard again, things like that. And another another thing that I'm super pumped about is every time we get a DLC, it seems like they just throw away the story that we just had, yep. right? Like the only time they kind of sort of melded it is when we killed Oryx, or not Oryx, uh, Crota, and then two DLCs later, we got Crota's <laughs> dad, Oryx. 
But it's like Curse of Osiris, we were done with that. And then at the end, uh, Osiris says, if you ever need me, I'm here to talk. We never talked to him again. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the other thing. I, yeah. I've said this before, but like Osiris to me was for a long time. This idea of legendary guardians has always been the most interesting part of lore for mm -hmm. me. Like that's mm -hmm. why it was so cool to see like Lord Saladin pop up and like Rise of Iron and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like, <laughs> so we do all this we do all this really interesting, well, sort of really interesting stuff with uh, the Infinite Force and Osiris, and then what? He's just still in there. Yeah, yeah. Kinda I mean, like he's in there fighting, like yeah, infinitely doing his thing, and we we're not helping him. Or like we're not doing anything with Rasputin or Anna Bray, mm -hmm. and it's like I, I mm -hmm. love that. It seems like they're taking the Dreaming City story that we just did, and they're expanding it. Which and, is good. Yeah. Marasov has yeah. been super compelling because there's little changes every week when you do it and get yes. to that final scene, right? I mean, I, I'm definitely the person on this show who always asks for the world. But like, yeah. wouldn't it be cool if like on all of those fronts we're always kind of getting continual expansion and story elaboration and stuff, even yeah. if it's just minor, the new format of DLC uh might lend itself to that, you know? Yeah. yeah. Like what if Absolutely. next week we got an Anna Bray thing? You know, well, I, I so like that. what I'm Predicting, Bring everybody together. What I'm predicting, what I'm hoping for is, you know how the curse of Riven is that we have to go through everything over and over again, which is why we have these three-week intervals. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that once Aldrin gets revived, that's part of the curse and the curse breaks and we get introduced to a whole new like oh. thing in the Dreaming City. That would be Ooh, really cool. That would be awesome. Yeah. Arex, any final thoughts on that? Are you excited about this possibility that this could be the next Vanguard? Do you, I mean, you, I'm, I'm definitely like, yeah. despite the fact that I don't like him as a character, I'm definitely excited for what it what it could mean, and mm -hmm. I'm and I'm all for for having like more interesting story, and especially knowing that we've got you know like this expansion that's coming up, we're not going to have conventional campaign missions. I'm interested to see just how this story works its way in. You know, like I mean, this could open itself up for more interesting, more compelling mm -hmm. storytelling if there's ways for them to work it around kind of traditional missions that you ultimately just shoot your way through, right? So I think I'm probably more interested just to sort of see how it comes to pass in this expansion. Yeah, how it all plays out, that's gonna be really interesting. Mm.